hi guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show how to turn your old saris into a beautiful dress this is the pattern I did for my dress and this the blouse uh, for the front blouse uh, top I'm giving um, opening which I'm gonna give a front opening button so I will get two pieces of that and for the back pieces I'm gonna cut at the folded side so I will get one whole piece of the back piece and also I am giving two dots at the front and back and that's the skirt for the skirts I am giving a gathering at the waist part and the knee side so this top skirt I will having two pieces of that front and back and, and also the bottom uh, skirt I will get two pieces of um, for the front and back and that's the um, sleeve and that's the wristband for uh, I'm giving a uh, gathering at the wrist uh, part also let's see how to transfer this onto the fabric this is the lining that I'm going to give for the sari so I'm going to cut my blouse and uh, other things on the um, lining first so this I'm going to do the front blouse first so I'm giving extra one and a half inch for the side for the button fold and that's for the shoulder uh, line from the shoulder line down I'm getting the length of the blouse which is 14 inches make a line then the shoulder is 8 uh, 16 inches divided by 2 is 8 and down I'm giving armhole length depth is 7.5 that's the bus line bus is uh, 39 inches divided by 4 and the waist is 35 divided by 4 is 8.75 but I'm giving extra 1 inch for the dot and get the line then from the center to the uh, 4 inch into inwards get the dot line and 3 inches height and I'm giving 1 inch wide for the dot and get that 1 inch line and connect this 3 lines together for the dot And now I'm going to give extra seam allowance to the side and also at the bottom. Now get this uh, neckline. Neckline I'm giving 2.75 wide. And then for I'm giving 5 inches down. If you need a deeper neck you can go six seven or eight but this my one will be a little bit closer that's why I'm giving five then from there you draw a line and do your this gonna be a um, just a round neck if you want a different neck you can do accordingly and I'm giving a sh shoulder slope then I'm gonna draw uh, front armhole this front armhole get this um, French curve ruler to do the armhole curve and get disconnected to that line then also draw the back um, back armhole and we're gonna cut the back from the back armhole line and cut it with the help of the front piece I'm gonna cut the back piece so for that I'm just gonna fold this and pin it the, ex the lines and place it nearer to the folded side and pin it together and cut it off now back piece is done and I given a dart 
and also neckline this neckline later we can draw and cut now I'm going to cut away the front uh, armhole and cut away the extra so shoulder seam and this is for the um, sleeve for the sleeve I'm taking 23 inches long and I'm going to make a line from there I'm getting 4 inches um, cap height from the cap height I'm giving uh, underarm measurement is 8 inches and the wrist is I'm giving 7 inches because I'm, I'm going to give some extra um, gatherings there and join this wrist line and to the armhole underarm and ma make a slanting line for sleeve curve and give extra seam allowance and cut it away when we cut sleeve we will cut the back piece first and make a center notch now we can cut the front sleeve the sleeves are done that's the piece for wristband now I'm going to measure the skirt length uh, 14 inches for the top from 14 inch down all the way to 58 inches that's the full length of skirt make a line and cut the extra piece I'm going to with the help of the blouse I'm getting the waist uh, um, waistline and also doing the hip line the hip line is 44 inches and giving extra one inch from the waistline to the hip line make a slanting line all the way to the uh, bottom so that will make a a line skirt now cut away the extra pieces now the inner skirt is really done I'm going to transfer all the lining onto the sari and pin it and I'm going to cut it the blouses are done and I'm going to cut sleeve now pin it and cut it for this uh, I'm cutting only the back sleeve first and that's for the wristband for here I've already cut the skirt this is the top skirt and also I cut the bottom skirt from the waist I give an extra 4 inches for the skirt uh, for the gatherings and also I have uh, two pieces front and back and this is for the bottom skirt and this bottom skirt I given extra 4 inches from the top skirt now how I'm going to stitch this is I'm getting this top skirt giving some gatherings at the waist side and attach that to the blouse and take this bottom skirt give gathering at the bottom skirt top and attach that to the other skirt now let's see how I'm going to show that um, this the blouse piece I'm front piece facing me and putting on the lining on top and I'm going to stitch around the neckline after the stitching give a slit and flip it over to the right side and I'm going to do a top stitch along the neckline and I'm going to give 
the blouse stitching all over together with the lining so you won't slip off I'm going to do the same thing to the front I'm doing the neckline first and giving a slit flip it over I'm going to do the top stitching and I'm doing that for the both of the front piece and I'm gonna sew around and I already done for the both of the pieces and I'm gonna fold that front button piece and sew that And doing for the other side also that's for the buttonhole and I'm doing a dart for the back piece and also for the front piece now I'm going to do the buttonhole done with the buttonholes we're going to do the gatherings for the bottom skirt so I'm giving a straight stitching all the way uh, don't do back stitch for the beginning and the ending and cut away some uh, leaving some strings and hold on to one one string <coughs> and hold uh, pull a uh, hold the string and pull the fabric in and you will give some gatherings just like that and do that until you get the correct size uh, to match with the top skirt so this gathering is done and is correctly fitting to the top skirt and I'm going to join that top skirt and bottom skirt together so bottom is the wrong side top is wrong side in between right side is facing, uh, facing each other after the stitching it's going to look like this now I'm going to do the gathering for the top side of the skirt which will attach to the blouse. So I'm going to do a long straight stitch without back stitch. Cut away string and hold on to the string and repeat the same thing as just now. Pull the fabric and thread it evenly and for this size you gotta match with the blouse so it's ready done so the skirt I'm gonna sew together with the lining so this both also the waist part so I'm attaching the lining and the skirt gather skirt at the waist part So try not to pull the gathering skirt now I'm attaching the lining the skirt line skirt together with the blouse and I'm gonna stitch the waist area and then I'm doing that for both sides so this is for the back side So after that the blouse and the skirt join together for the back now for the front front I'm gonna pin the button opening side together and I'm going to make a, 
a small stitch just to hold the two pieces together so when you sew you won't move so that part I'm joining the skirt and I'm gonna sew that together now we're going to do the sleeves for the sleeve I'm facing the right side down and the wrong side is facing up I'm placing lining on top and I'm gonna sew along the lining and sew it together so you won't slip so after that I'm cut away the front sleeve the extra pieces now I'm gonna attach I'm going to uh, attach the sleeve to the armhole pin the center if you want and I'm gonna sew the armhole to the slip to the armhole I'm doing that for the both side already done attach the slip to the armhole now we're gonna start the side seam the side seam start from hip line to the wrist three inches above the wrist so do mark uh, three inches above the wrist and do a line start from the st start from there to the hip line so make sure to pin your arm armhole together and also your waist uh, stitching together for the front and back so uh, it will not look up and down when after the stitching So once you're done, flip it, the lining, and now from the hip line you can see the sari. You make a slit, small slit, nearer to the uh, stitching. Now you from the hip line down to bottom of the skirt, do a straight stitching. Now again. we're gonna move away the sari the outer skirt because there is a slit so easy to move away now from the hip line bottom to the skirt do a straight stitch this way we will be having a two uh, separate skirt from the hip down lining separate and the outer skirt separate do for the other side as well now for installing the zip from underarm to the hip line so make that area open the rest of it is stitch now i'm gonna install the zip from underarm to the hip line so do that the same thing to the other side Um, I prefer to have sides zip this easier uh, rather than having a back zip and look for some help so once the zip is done we're gonna move on to the sleeves the sleeves uh, uh, we did um, leave three inches so we're gonna fold then close that uh, three inches raw edges uh, that's for the wrist opening and I'm gonna sew that uh, both side and I'm I'm gonna give the gathering so what we're gonna do as we did for the skirt I'm going to do a straight stitch without uh, doing any back stitch and 
then cut away the strings leaving extra then hold on to the string and pull the fabric to make the gatherings this gathering is gonna meet the wristband size so my wristband size is 8 inches 1 inch uh, I'm giving for button holes so that's basically three and a half inch uh, for the wristband so that's going to match with the wristband I'm getting the wristband to the wrong side of the sleeve the edges the opening you remember the opening from that opening i'm going to sew along in this way so i'm actually i'm given interfacing for the wristband so it'll be a, a look stiffer and sew along after the one side sewn um, flip it open and i'm going to fold one inch out and I'm gonna double fold it and I'm gonna sew it again to covering the raw edge and I'm done so that's final loop it's gonna be like this and that's the extra piece go in that's where the button hole uh, the button will be there now I'm going to do the lining hemming at the bottom For the lining uh, skirt, actually the total length of the skirt is 58 inches. For the lining, you can give only 57 inches. That will do. If not, it will be like same length as the outer skirt or maybe even, you know, sometimes it can, can be seen from the outside. So if it's shorter than the other skirt, that looks fine. Now we're doing the outer skirt hemming at the bottom. then that's the bottom is done and we have to sew the button for the front and the sleeve and this is how it's gonna look if you like my video please share and do subscribe and give a thumbs up see you again in another video until then see you bye bye